who desire his prescribed righteousness. The number one thing I notice concerning the Lord Jesus and his expressed verbal and life lived sharing is that the Lord Jesus has in his adopted weak flesh shown to us the sure way for us to follow the good and perfect plan of the Father. The Father's purpose for us to accept his Son's work as the Son of Man and that Jesus truly is his Son is to be in all our ways mindful and indeed appreciative of, to fully love, desire, and with gratitude claim the revealed righteous ways of the Lord Jesus, which has been given for all of us to accept and experience in growing action is the will and work of the true and holy Lord God. Jesus lived and was observed to be a good man, possessing the revealed characteristics of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which worked for his and his Father's purpose for us. Jesus, by his full life being lived in full agreement with the perfect will of his Father, he was completely and in eligibility prepared to redeem us by the humble obedience which he in love demonstrated on and prior to going to the cross. Jesus, as he for us was planned, was a much longed for and needed substitute for us as a righteous, God-pleasing Son of Man. By being enclosed in the same weak mortal and corruptible flesh as the ones he came to redeem, the Lord Christ Jesus, by his righteousness, was fully eligible to redeem man. Jesus lived fully in the humility of righteousness to the glory and honor of the Father, Jesus desiring his righteousness to be accounted for our justification lived with total committed devotion to his Father's will with graciousness. Jesus gave to us, allowing us to recognize his Father's loving kindness so clearly stated for us in the scriptures was our God's purpose for man prior to him sending with salvation the soul cleansing and complete soul redeeming son of man. Jesus coming to us at the fullness of his father's prescribed time has allowed us to have it ever before us the way by which we may by his life become fully acquainted with the Lord's person by his love expression. It is important to the Lord God for the Lord Jesus to be ever recognized by us as the righteous Son of God, who for the complete need of our souls took on the mortal corruptible flesh in the true divine power of expressed righteousness. Jesus, in love for us, and in his loving obedience to his Father, yielded himself by fully conquered sin and death in the flesh as the righteous anointed Son of Man, Jesus, as it was required, was completely poured out for us. The Lord Jesus was sent in love for us to know the characteristics of his Father and his Father's love. And in his obedience to his Father, the Lord Jesus as a man came clothed in corruptible mortal flesh in order to be identified as constantly living 
in true righteousness as a son of man and proclaiming his most gracious loving father's constant love for us as it was from the beginning the purposeful will of God for us to be upright it is for us to ever be constant in the righteous work of the Father God and in pursuing the glorious image of his righteous son Romans thirteen fourteen. but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof Ephesians 5 9 for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth Romans 8 29 for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren Psalm 111.3 His work is honorable and glorious and his righteousness endureth forever Sure guidance to obtain Jesus' righteousness and kingdom. In the word of God, it is revealed, the Lord Christ Jesus and his loving Father's gracious, life-giving purpose is for us to ever be in our soul, heart, mind, and spirit like them in our weak, corruptible, mortal, and carnal bodies. The Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus desires for us to make our purpose for living to be that which is in harmony with that which they are and that which they do. For us to truly abide daily focused on the Lord God's life living way which was manifested in righteous works of humility which by Jesus was fully lived even in corruptible mortal carnal flesh. It truly is by the life lived by the Lord Jesus that we are truly able to see our way to true righteous living. In Jesus' life is where we find the life-giving provisions and life example for our growth. It is ever in the Lord Jesus that we are to abide in the Lord Jesus, the head above all men is the one given to us for leading our life expressions. Jesus is our foundation for life to build upon. The Lord Jesus is the only man, is the only place where we find our life giving and our life leading truth. God the Father's desiring for us to be like him in our soul heart, mind, and spirit has given us his son to hear, love, and to with true gratitude follow. To be in the Lord Christ Jesus is to be able to claim we have been given his seal, the Holy Spirit, that is our assurance that we belong to the Lord. By the powerful presence of the indwelling Holy Spirit, we are daily prepared to grow into having the same purpose for ourselves as our ever gracious Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus. In our imaginations, thoughts, and words, and by the emotional expressions of our spirit, we by the working of the Holy Spirit are enabled to become fruitful followers of Christ Jesus. We are with great creative skill prepared by the Holy Spirit directing our labors. By the leading of the gifting Holy Spirit who is always present with the blessed word of God, we will by the indwelling 
of the Holy Spirit always have great divine power to achieve the desired guidance the Lord God has for us to be fully ready to enter by His grace into His righteous kingdom.